Hello Grade 8 Learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pala sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell so that you will be updated on my latest video. So for today's video, I will be discussing you about right triangle congruence. Right triangles are special because these have right angles and right angles are congruent. Now, you will look at shortcuts improving congruence between right triangles. We are going to apply deductive skills to show congruence between right triangles. We have the LL congruence or the leg-leg congruence. We have the LA congruence. We have the HA congruence. And the last one, we have the HL congruence. So let's start with the first one, leg-leg or LL theorem. So it states that if the legs of one right triangle are congruent to the legs of another right triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So let's have our given. So let's uh, let's prove whether these two triangles are congruent by applying the theorem, which is the LL congruence. Triangle ABC and triangle DF. So these are the two triangles given. And then another given is that angle C and angle F are right angles. So let's uh, put a special marking. So angle C is a right angle. And angle F is also a right angle. So meaning to say that these two triangles are right triangles. Another given is segment BC. So this is segment BC. And segment EF. So they are congruent segments. So let us put a special marking okay so meaning to say that the two given segments of the two triangles are congruent so BC segment BC is congruent with segment EF and then the other one is that segment AC so this is segment AC is congruent with segment FD Now, we are going to prove triangle ABC is congruent with triangle DEF. So, we are going to use a two-column proof. So, maglalagay tayo ng statements at maglalagay tayo ng reasons to prove whether these two triangles are congruent by applying the given theorem, which is the LL theorem. So, for our proof, so, our first statement would be segment BC is congruent with segment EF and segment AC is congruent with segment FD. For our reason, so that is given. And then the other given is angle C and angle F are right angles. So our reason is given. And then for our statement number 3, so we're going to use statement 2. So, since they are right angles, we can say that angle C and angle F are congruent. So, they are congruent because they are both right angles. And our reason is right angles are 
congruent. And then for number 4, we can now prove that triangle ABC is congruent with triangle DEF. Then our reason is side, angle, side, postulate, basis. Or we can apply here the leg-leg theorem since our given is that the two legs of the given right triangle are congruent. So, dito pa lang na ang segment BC is congruent with segment EF and then segment AC is congruent with segment FD. So, we can say that the two triangles are congruent because the two legs are congruent with the given two right triangles. The second one is the leg angle or LA theorem. It, it states that if a leg of an acute angle of one right triangle are congruent to a leg and an acute angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So we are talking about a leg and acute angle of the two given right triangles that should be congruent. So that we can conclude that the two right triangles given are congruent. So let's have an example. So by this time, we are not using a two-column proof. So we just inspect the figure to conclude whether it is congruent or not with LA theorem. So our given is triangle BN. So this is triangle BN and triangle TOM. So this is triangle TOM. So another given is that angle B and angle T are right angles. So let us put a special, a special marking. So angle B and angle T are right triangles, are right angles. So now we can say that the two triangles are right triangles. The next given, or the last given we have here is segment BN is congruent with segment MT. Segment BN is congruent with segment MT. And then, angle N is congruent with segment M. So, this will be the special marking for an angle. So, we are going to prove triangle BN is congruent with triangle TOM under a leg angle theorem. So, by inspection of the figures alone, so we just inspect the figures, so we just put uh, special markings based on the given. So, you can see that the triangles can be guaranteed congruent by a postulate. So, we're in, we have here a leg which is BN and MT na congruent and we have here acute angles na congruent. So, we have here angle N and angle M. So, we have here legs that are congruent and an acute angles that are congruent. So, therefore, we can say that the two triangles are congruent by the leg angle theorem. So, we use by inspection. angle or HA theorem. It states that if the hypotenuse and an acute angle of a right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and acute angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So we have here a word or the word hypotenuse. So sa mga hindi familiar sa hypotenuse, it is the opposite of a right angle. So, it is the longest side of the given right triangle. So, uh, ito yung segment na opposite ng right angle. So, mamaya ipapakita ko sa inyo, nasan nga ba dito sa dalawang two triangles na to ang tinatawag nating hypotenuse. So, ang given natin ay triangle MAX. So, this will be the triangle max. And triangle JED. So, this will be the triangle Z. And then, 
The next given is that angle X and angle D are right angles. So angle X and angle D are right angles. So we can say that the two triangles are right triangles. And then we have here another given which is segment MA. MA is congruent with JE. So MA is congruent with JE. And then angle A. So since this segment is opposite, opposite the right angle. So this is the right angle. So ito yung tinatawag nating hypotenuse. So therefore, segment MA and segment JE are hypotenuse. So kasi itong JE ay opposite din ni angle D. So itong segment. So that would be the longest side. And then, angle A is congruent with angle E. So we are going to prove whether these two triangles are congruent. And then to use the ASA postulate, ASA postulate what else must be congruent so if we are going to use ASA so meaning to say that we have here included sides so what else must be congruent so the third angle since the two angles are co already congruent so we can say that the last angle so which is angle M is congruent with angle J so that is we have here angle included side and angle so ASA postulate and by inspection so we can say that based on our given so you can see that the two triangles can be guaranteed congruent by a postulate which is the HA theorem. So we're in we have here hypotenuse which are congruent. So ito nga si MA at saka si JE. And then we have here an acute angle which is angle A and angle E that are also congruent. Then for our last theorem under right triangle congruence, we have hypotenuse leg or HL theorem. It states that if the hypotenuse and a leg of a right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and corresponding leg of another triangle, then two triangles are congruent. So this time, we can prove that the two right triangles are congruent by applying the HL theorem if the hypotenuse and leg of the two triangles are congruent. So we have here our given triangle JOY and triangle LEA. So we have here triangle JOY and triangle LEA. And triangle Y is con and, and angle A again angle Y and angle A are right angles. So therefore this these two triangles are right triangles. And then another given is that JO, segment JO, is congruent with segment LE. So this is hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse of the given two triangles are congruent. And then we have here OY. Segment OY is congruent with segment EA. So that is a leg of the given uh, right triangle. So since the hypotenuse and one of the legs of the given right triangles are congruent. So, we can say that triangle JOY and is congruent with triangle LEA by applying the hypotenuse leg theorem. So, I hope that you learned something today. So, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and see you on our next video lesson.